Hey guys, so as the release of iOS 17.3 quickly approaches, Apple is already working on the next major update, iOS 17.4. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a quick preview of what to expect with Apple's next major update coming to the iPhone. There's some major changes happening here. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I wanna talk about is new emojis. Back in September of 2023, the new emoji Unicode 15.1 was approved and there's gonna be over 100 new emojis. Some of them include the head shake emoji, one of my favorites, the phoenix emoji, mushroom, broken chain, etc. There's a lot of emojis in terms of accessibilities. And if you add all the skin tones and all the skin tone variants, you have over 100 new emojis coming to the iPhone with iOS 17.4 and Unicode 15.1. So if you like emojis with iOS 17.4, we'll most likely see the new Unicode 15.1 emoji list being added to the iPhone. Next, I want to talk about game mode. Now, this feature is currently available on the Mac and basically it prioritizes gaming CPU and GPU for better performance on the Mac. Now, this game mode feature was already found in the code earlier on with iOS 17, but Apple has yet to release the feature. I'm still waiting for Apple to release this one for the iPhone, and I think it will be coming soon, perhaps with iOS 17.4. Now, if Apple does add game mode to the iPhone, I believe it will be limited to Apple's most powerful A17 chip, which of course will be the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So game mode, keep in mind, it was already found in the code of iOS has yet to be released and we could see the first glance at this with iOS 17.4 for better optimization for gaming, CPU, and GPU performance on the new iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And last but not least, it is finally happening. Side loading is coming to the iPhone. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is expected to roll out an update to enable side loading for iPhones and iPads in Europe. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind here. Number one, if Apple does roll out side loading, which they're set to comply with EU regulations before March 7th, 2024, this will most likely only be available in Europe initially. Now, of course, I'm sure other countries around the world will continue to pressure Apple and eventually will get side loading worldwide on the iPhone. But initially, it will be available in Europe, according to Mark Gurman, in the upcoming weeks. Now, keep in mind, iOS 16.4 was released on March 27, 2023. So if we go by the same schedule, iOS 17.4 will most likely drop sometime during the mid to late March, okay, 2024. So if we go by last year's schedule. But let's go ahead and keep a few things in mind here as well. If side loading is enabled, it would only be available in the EU, which is region-based, and on iPhones in the US, we'll most likely not see side loading until maybe iOS 18. Now, Mark Gurman mentions that there will be two versions of the App Store, one available in Europe and one available around the world, which of course, the one in Europe will allow you to install third-party apps from other sources using the App Store. I guess Apple will be filtering those apps through an App Store security system or something like that. I'm not sure how they're gonna do this, but they should allow side loading in Europe before March 7th. Now, Apple could also release a minor update to iOS 17.3, maybe 17.3.1 before 17.4, only to enable side loading in Europe. We'll have to wait and see, but in the coming weeks, we'll see side loading for the first time on the iPhone. Finally, this is a feature that a lot of iPhone users have been wanting. And as I mentioned, hopefully and eventually this will be rolling out across the world. Now, I know a lot of users don't want side loading. Some users really want side loading, but I've always been 50-50. There's pros and cons, but we'll have to wait and see. More countries around the world will continue to pressure Apple to release this across the world. So again, new emojis, maybe game mode, and of course, the side loading in Europe will most likely make its way to iOS 17.4. Now, the first beta will most likely become available early in February if Apple continues on their beta release schedule after the release of iOS 17.3 and 17.4, the official final release towards mid to end of March with a lot of these new features and changes. Of course, stay tuned here to the channel as more information becomes available. I'll be sure to provide that to you guys. So far, this is what we can expect with the next major update, iOS 17.4. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.